It's what the. F Yo, what's up, everyone? I'm Jackie YBT Tech Away Tech Everything. Welcome to my channel. Thanks to all the new and the old subscriber who subscribe to this channel. And today, a review video. Finally, I'm gonna review the TP-Link Archer T2U AC600 Wi-Fi wireless adapter. So look at that. Yep. So if you haven't watched the unboxing and hands-on video, go watch it first before you watch this review video. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing first, let's talk about the design. It's really mini, it's compact. I like how they create the design for this Archer T2U. It's like covered with glass, but it's not glass, it's plastic. It reminds me of the Nokia Archer 501, if I'm not mistaken, the model name and some angular shape in the four corners hexagon kind of slanted shape that's how i describe it so for the dimensions of this archer t2u the length is 41 millimeters the width is 19.5 millimeters and the thickness is 8.7 millimeters for the size comparison here's my archer t4u you can see this archer t2u is way smaller yeah it also has a cover for the usb you can plug it out and put it back store it yeah protect the usb pretty nice feature also it's not very sturdy so i don't recommend you guys to drop it it's kind of like shaky and you can hear the the parts inside is like moving yeah let me put closer to the microphone so that you guys can hear it yeah you guys can hear it right so that's for the design part moving on the TP-Link Archer T2U only support USB 2.0 It doesn't support USB 3.0 So even if you plug it into USB 3.0, it won't enhance your speed So just plug it into USB 2.0 So before you start to use this Archer T2U, you have to download the driver. So this is the link for you guys to download the driver. Don't worry, I will put the link down below in the description so you guys can click and download. As you can see, there's three different versions. You have to download it accordingly. You can see below the packaging. So mine is V2. I click V2. Uh, let me find the driver. Where is it? Uh, oh, okay. I found it. That's it. Click. It supports three different operating systems, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Mine is Windows. I click Windows. Wait for the uh, download to complete. 48 megabytes, very small file. And let me click the zip file right now. And double click, zip file. And then click the setup exe. Okay. And it will search your for your adapter. But here I forgot to put the adapter so it can't find my adapter. So you have to plug in first, then only it will find your adapter. So let me plug in and I will click uh, retry once I plug in. So retry, searching. So we have to wait for the installation finish. Usually it's like one to two minutes. Okay, driver is installed. Now you can use your Wi-Fi adapter to connect the Wi-Fi. So let me check right now. I'm using LAN cable so you can see the LAN logo there. And you, as you can see the Wi-Fi logo. And you can click uh, whatever Wi-Fi they're using and key in the password. Okay, so that's it. That's how you download the driver and start using your Archer T2U. So right now I'm at my bedroom. My router and modem is at down floor. Still using the same 100 megabytes per second package. Currently I'm gonna use speed test to test it out. So right now I connected to my 5 gigahertz and show you how fast it is with using this Archer T2U. So let's go. Well, the speed is quite disappointed because there's, there's wall. First of all, I, I need to say there's wall blocking. And second of all, this Archer T2U doesn't has a antenna. So it's like a mini uh, version one. There's no antenna, just USB. That's it. It's unlike the T4U. The speed definitely will affect it. 
So as you can see 1.66 megabytes per second and 4.65 for upload and download is 1.66 yeah oh my goodness so just now i already show you the result it was terrible but to be fair to this wi-fi adapter right now i'm at outside like beside my bedroom this is my secondary pc more video coming soon about this thing i'm gonna test it out here because here got lesser wall blocking the router is still at our floor but the result should be better because less wall blocking better reception okay let me zoom in and start the testing Okay, wow, this is not what I expected. As you can see, the download speed is way lower than the upload speed. Big difference, 5.81 megabytes per second for download speed and the upload speed is 31.84 megabytes per second big difference it is better than inside my bedroom so if you want to use this you have to be near as near as possible to your wi-fi router i don't recommend you you use it far away from your router if you want to use this archer t2u so the price for this tp link archer t2u ac 600 is around 55 ringgit to 59 excluded the shipping fees on all the Malaysia online shopping platform like Shopee, Lazada and etc. You get the dual band feature which you can use the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz internet. Uh, I would say it's pretty good price for that feature and you also get like a pretty slick design mini compact design so it won't take up too much space but if you are like me who use a pc in my bedroom and your wi-fi modem is down floor i don't recommend you guys to buy this because the wall will be blocking the reception and the speed that you receive won't be too good it's quite bad to be honest like i show you like less than 10 megabytes per second my internet package is 100 megabyte per second per month in my situation the t4u is much better choice if you guys want to watch this two versus like the t4u versus the t2u let me know down in the comment section below that's about it guys thanks for watching remember to click the thumbs up subscribe and click the bell icon so they will get notified whenever i upload a new video share to your friends and family comment down in the comment section below buy me a coffee if you want to support this channel now see you in the next video guys, goodbye.